Hi guys, in this video we will see an exercise on PC. The objective of this exercise is how to replace the null values and to prevent it by dash in PC. So if there are null fields or null values, how we can prevent it and how we can replace it by means of a dash or any number. So that we will see. So we have to replace the null values first of all. So we have to load the data first, load to this file name. On this particular table so that we can take the data. Now, this is taking the path which I have already given. So, there are some exceeded. I will import the exceeded and as pocket entry. Now, whichever table we want that we will select. So, I will select the table name as imputation terminal. If I don't want this particular ABC, ABCD. Yes, these are nothing but the field headings in our computer manner. So, I'll select embedded letter label and click on select. So, code is basically generated over here. So, what we have to do is enter. enter. So, I'll show you the data first. This is basically the database. So, these are the Null value, null field. Okay, so these are the null field. So we can replace this by means of dash. So over here, if I load the data, you cannot see anything over here. So I'll click on OK. Go to reload button. And right click over here, go to new sheet object, click on table box and add all, same as that in the Excel sheet, load order, click on apply, new sheet. So you can find out over here dash dash dash. So how we are going to represent this? So this is by default. So this is by default whenever you are loading the data. Else, you can have a condition you can represent it with. So, that condition you have to give in this. I'll remove this. Press Ctrl E. Go to the particular edit script window. Type over here set. Null. Enter set equal to double inverted comma semicolon. Yeah, so this is written red. So this code line we have written in this particular edit script window. So we have added this set null interpret equal to single inverted comma and single inverted comma is to semicolon. Click on OK and click on reload button. After reloading, the data is going to place in this particular main sheet. Now click here, copy me, go to new sheet object, close to this particular table box. If you want to give a title, you can do it. We'll add all load order. So we can exactly which we are going to do. It's a sheet. Click on apply. And okay. So this will give you that over here. This is a null field. So you can see over here that herbal tea mint Illinois decaf five. So I'll show you the database. Herbal tea. This is basically herbal tea, Illinois, mint, decap south. So this is empty. So we have seen that the same thing is being replaced and it is being represented by a diagram. So the 
the order might be different, but all the data is taken into this, and this is sorted in the manner of a lower to high. That's why it is mentioned as well. So I hope you have understood how to replace the null value in case of missing. Thanks for